Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Arkin Suss, back to the My Player career mode number 11. Last episode we had a brilliant episode, we scored three goals. I'm about with the live com today, I've recorded like four or five videos today now, because I'm going away as I said in one of my previous videos, so it's been a bit of a hectic day for me, but um, we're back anyway and we're playing this game against Everton. I'm going to try and make this a little bit shorter than my normal live comms, because I do have to make seven videos today and... Um, I upload them all in like two days, so I don't want it, them to be too long as they take forever to upload and it will mess up my schedule. But we are going to jump straight on into this game, and I'll see you guys once we're there. We've kicked off here at... Um, oh, God, I've completely evaded me what the Southampton Stadium name is, but... Nonetheless, we have kicked off here. Hopefully we can possibly get a goal again. You know, getting our first hat-trick was a big moment for us in our career. And um, I would love to get at least another goal here and maybe an assist. Not too sure. We'll see how it goes. Schneiderlin, if he could repeat that pass that he did to us in the last episode, that would be insane. And that completely failed there, doing a roulette, which is unfortunate. Oh, and he's Klein's missed the header there. Try and play it down, feel a little bit. Good play, Gaston. Ah, oh, we are getting quite. We're getting better. I'm definitely preferring professional for at least the FIFA 14 series of my player because um. It's just getting me getting used to the game mode. As I said before, I've never actually played this properly, so it, it's kind of new to me. And the gameplay is weird because I don't play a lot of clubs either. And um, professional's nice because it gives me time to adjust to it before we start it up again in FIFA 15, where we'll be probably starting on world class, and that will be how it stays. So yeah, just to clear that up, if any of you are wondering why we are on professional, it's because it's just me getting used to it as a player and. Um, yeah, in FIFA 15, when it comes out, we will change it up. But we're on a break here. What can we do? We're going to try and cut inside here. I'm going to sweat it up like that. Hopefully Schneiderlin can bang one in. He's actually given it back to us. I didn't expect that. I wasn't ready for that, actually. Schneiderlin with another beautiful ball. He really, Schneiderlin is a great player. He really picks out a nice pass. And I really do like working with him in, him in this Southampton team. Can we pinch it off Coleman? We can. Can we do him completely? No, we've lost the ball again. Our, for some reason, when we get on the run of the ball, we just tend to lose it a lot. Unless it's like an open goal or something. On the run here, can we feed through Ramirez? Nope. A bit too much power on that wipe of ball. But he's won it back. He's gone down. No, he's tripped over the idiot. That was an actually a very good goal-scoring chance there. But can we get it back to a goal-scoring opportunity? Shoot, 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 shoot. It wouldn't let me shoot. He's gone down. That's a penalty. That's a penalty, ref. We're not even going to get to take it, which is very frustrating. I wish that, you know, we got... To, last time they had a penalty, they actually missed it. So, I really wish that Ramirez would give that to me. Clearly not, but he has slotted at home nonetheless. And, um... Unfortunately, that won't count as our assist or an official assist. I guess it kind of was because we were the one who won it, the penalty anyway. Uh, they're not even passing. They're just literally passing in one little triangle. Feed it through! I'm spamming the Y button to try and get a lofted ball over the top. Jose Fonte's done it in the most ridiculous... Did he touch that with his bloody hand? I'm going to go and get an instant replay. I swear to God that Joe Rolls just touched that with his hand. Look at this, they're just passing round. How do you zoom in? That was close. That was very close. It looked like he almost actually handled the ball there, which would have been awful. No, that's a shit shot. I was trying to turn around and like get up my right foot for a finesse, but that is the end of that game. It was annoying that the back, some of the center, the defenders were actually just passing amongst themselves. That hat trick definitely helped us out, and hopefully this game can be a little bit more successful than the last one. What a ball! What a ball! And we've scored. Look at that, straight off the bat, we scored apparently ten goals in our career, which is pretty good. But um, finishing up one. Holy crap! What a ball! What a ball that was through from Gaston Ramirez again. Really showing how world class he is. I want to have a look at that again, actually. If it will let... No, it won't let us. Remy's got it. What's he going to be able to do? Nothing. We've managed to defend that clearly. We're doing quite well about Dejan Lovren at centre-back as he's injured. And, oh, that was very lucky there. That could have gone terribly wrong for us there if that hadn't have been offside. We've nicked it again. We're going to dink it over. That's a bit of a poor um, dink, as you would say, or... a a little chip ball. Look at that from Morgan Schneiderlin. Again, what a ball. He really is like 
the Iniesta of Southampton or the Chavi or Pirlo or Perlo. He on a, he picks out the most stunning passes and it is absolutely incredible. I absolutely am in love with Morgan Schneiderlin and he is one of the best players at the club. Definitely the player that I link up with the best for some reason. He just he's always there, you know. He's always a good opportunity. Right, as that's the end of that game. I didn't actually speak for about 20 minutes, well, like five minutes in that game because it was so boring towards the end. But that's our 20th game completed. We've gone up to a 79 overall, which is great. And that's going to actually draw to a close, episode number 11. It felt like a bit of a long one, actually, because that second game was so boring towards the end. But we did get a goal and almost came very close to actually getting another one. But that is our fourth goal in the Southampton top. Although, one, we did get a goal, but we got, in, we got taken off because of a substitution, which didn't give it to us, which is a little bit annoying but we are in form at the moment we're doing really well and um i'm more than happy with the progress that we've made so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you on saturday at 1 p.m for episode number 12